Hello, NAISD families. I'm Anthony Jarrett, the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction. I know some of our students and parents have some anxiety over starting school in a virtual learning environment and have many questions on exactly how it will work the next few weeks of school. The first thing I want to make sure you know is that we will look completely different from this past spring, which was a focus on the continuity of education. Please understand, in March, school districts didn't have a lot of time to plan before schools were unexpectedly closed and public education was flipped upside down. We knew the quality was not going to be what students would receive during an in-person classroom. We had to recognize and come up with a plan to address the digital divide, hence numeric grades were not issued, and there were not consequences for attendance. Since then, we have been working diligently to improve our virtual learning because we anticipate the possibility of schools being delayed or experiencing micro-closures during the year. In this planning, our highest hope is to replicate an in-person experience to the best of our abilities while students attend school in a virtual space. In fact, the number one thing parents said in the survey we sent was, my child needs more face-to-face -face learning with their teacher. Therefore, we designed our summer and fall virtual learning around our intentions to increase face-to-face -face learning, purposeful grouping of students during their virtual class, and validate authentic grades and attendance by addressing learning outcomes. In fact, over this summer, we worked on a proof of concept with our summer school programs, which many of our students and parents saw firsthand how learning virtually can look very different and support student learning. One of the big questions we have heard from you since last week is the difference between synchronous versus asynchronous learning and whether you have a choice to decide between the two. While my recommendation would be for every student to engage in live daily interaction with teachers using a synchronous format, we realize that you may have extenuating circumstances that make that impossible right now. This is especially true for families with a number of school-aged children that may need someone to help facilitate their use of technology and task completion. Because in-person classes is not an option at this time, families, we have designed an asynchronous plan that will allow parents to access pre-recorded lessons from the day and access resources that students can work on to ensure adequate progress of learning and appropriate grades may be assigned. Keep in mind, the asynchronous will be reevaluated once in-person classes resume to ensure all students are getting the best learning experience we can provide. But for now, we don't want to make this unprecedented time any harder on our families than it has to be. We will be working on a frequently asked question document that we will post on our website to ensure we hear your voice and get you answers. And we will continue to monitor questions on social media. Remember, we are here to help. NISD cares about you and your child. If you have questions, email them to questions at neisd.net.